Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. If you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackpa with your days. And on this channel, we discuss relevant, fully funded opportunities or vocational opportunities to uh, Portugal where we reside and to other beautiful European countries. I mean, relocation opportunity that will not make you to break the band that are within your budget that will help you and your family to be able to relocate without any azus to your name, okay? Now, if you are an international applicant that are looking for a fully funded opportunity, either you are a master's student looking for a fully funded opportunity, PhD student looking for a fully funded opportunity, or any student whatsoever that are looking for a fully funded opportunity in art, in, um, in sciences, uh, looking for a fully funded opportunity in art, in music, okay? Or any higher, Educations related opportunity. I have an opportunity for you today. Okay. An Italian full an Italian government fully funded opportunity to Italy. So as long as you are enrolled in a in any recognized either public or private institution in Italy, you are eligible to apply. And mind you, all countries can apply to this. So if you are coming from an English speaking part of the world, or if you have had your application in English, okay, you are not required to provide anything IELTS and the likes. And of course, like I said, you only need to have pre enroll in any master's program, PhD program, vocational program in art, in, uh, in, in art, in music and the likes, okay? You only need to have pre enroll and shows a uh, proof that you have enrolled in any of these. Um, um, in any of these uh, uh, recognized institutions for you to be able to make your application. And mind you, the deadline for applying to this Italian government fully funded grant for all international applicants is June 14. So which means you have up until June 14 to make your applications, to get out the necessary document and to be able to apply to this grant. So I'll be showing to you, like I said, the details about this scholarship document require eligible countries, how you can submit your applications, how you can pre-enroll and search for recognized institutions in Italy, okay? Your JAPA plan, like I always say, your JAPA plan is still valid this year. Make sure you are ready for opportunity. Don't wait for opportunity before you start running Ethel Sketter. Prepare for opportunity. They will always come. We always research them. We always find the ones that are either fully funded or that the tuition or uh, living expenses is not expensive and that you can afford. Those are the kind of information that we prepare or that we provide to you on this channel. So prepare for opportunity and your JAPA plan for you and your family is still valid this year. Come with me, let me quickly show you the details about this Italian government grant, okay? So this is the grant that uh, I'm talking about. And as you can see, grant for foreign and Italian citizen living abroad awarded by the Italian government themselves. So it is the Italian government that are offering all international or foreign applicants to, uh, to apply to this grant and then pre-enroll in any recognized institutions in Italy, okay? Now, uh, uh, so, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Corporations offer grants in favor of foreign citizens and Italian citizens living abroad for the academic year 2024-2025 in order to foster international cooperation in cultural, scientific, and technological fields to promote Italian language and culture and to support Italy economic system in the world. So scholarships are available to attend academic courses in Italy Okay, in Italy, so which means all the institutions in Italy, public or private institutions, as long as they are recognized one, you are, uh, you are, can, you can apply to it. So the call and the list of eligible countries. So I will show, I will show that to you shortly. So and of course, if you want to apply, if you want to gather full, uh, more information about it, you have to click or open these two links to separate page for you to be able to gather more information about this scholarship and for you to be able to apply. Okay, now. The deadline for submitting, uh, let's quickly look. Yes, the deadline for submitting your application, as you can see, by 2 p.m. Central European time, June 14, 2024, which is by next month. So you have up, up until June 14, next month, for you to be able to apply to this um, scholarship or to this grant, okay? And this is these are the ways in which you can uh, pre-enroll or search for universities in Italy that are currently, uh, I mean, uh, accepting 
um, our master's program opportunity and every hour. And I will also, let me quickly also show you before before give, before delving deeper into this. Let me quickly show you um, the details about this. So this is the call for application. You have to open these two uh, this uh, PDF information to so be able to gather extensive information about it. And of course, we've already talked about the deadline already. Now, this is the uh, this is the dead, this is the grant for foreign student and Italian citizen living abroad awarded by the Italian government. We've talked about that already. And uh, this is the eligible country. I will show that to you shortly. Now, these are the people that can apply. Masters, you want to go for master's degree program. Okay. Courses are awarded for, I mean, the grants are awarded for a period of nine months. Admission to the first year of a master's degree course in Italy requires the completion of a bachelor degree. So, which means you must already have. Uh, a bachelor degree program before you can apply to a master's program in the, uh, uh, in, in Italy. So admission to the second year is granted to applicants who can prove satisfactory academic progress with their first year exam. So please note, for some master's degree, Laurel Magistral courses, enrollment is possible only after passing admission tests. Applicants are hodged only, I mean, this is only for those who want to go for master's degree in uh, Laurel Magistral. So I hard to verify this or other requirements with the university of their choice. So they are not, you know, making it compulsory for you to choose any university that you need to apply to. Any university in Italy, you are eligible to uh, uh, pre-enroll with them and apply for this grant. And if you want to check details of uh, universities that you can pre-enroll with or search for any master's program to pre-enroll with, you can click on this link and I will show them, I will show that to you also shortly. Now, this is another set of people that can apply. You want to go for courses of higher education in art, music, and dance, okay? This grant also is awarded to people who want to go for any higher education in art, music, and dance program. And it's also awarded for a period of nine months. The grant is also awarded for a period of nine months. And you have to be admitted to an Italian AFAM Institute. Applicants need to meet the entry requirements and academic qualification established by the relevant institute. Please note, for some AFAN courses, enrollment is possible only after passing admission tests. So, which means uh, some, some institutions or universities in Italy have different application procedures. So you have to follow the application procedure, okay? That is what this is actually talking about. Also, if you want to go for PhD program, Grants for a PhD program are awarded for a period of study of nine months as well. So to be ad admitted for a PhD in Italy, applicants need to meet the entry requirement at an academic qualification established by the different universities that you want to go, uh, that you want to go study in Italy. They also require to provide the admission letter to the PhD from the relevant Italian universities. And the fourth one. If you want to go do what is called research project under academic supervision, this grant is also available to you for a period of nine months as well. So the grant cover your feeding, your tuition fee, your accommodations, living expenses, and every other uh, thing that, uh, that you might require to be able to live comfortably and study in, in Italy. So that's what the grant cover, okay? I need to say that the grant cover all of those things, okay? And if you want to go study Italian language and culture advanced courses, you, you are eligible for the grant for up to three months. But of course, they require that before you go for Italian language and culture advanced courses, you need to have a basic knowledge and certifications of Italian language. So that is the requirement for that. Now, let's also look into language proficiency. Yes, language proficiency. So. And uh, of course, there are some courses that are taught in Italian, strictly Italian, but also there are some courses that are taught strictly in English. In order to enroll in an English taught course, applicants must provide a language certification regarding their proficiency in English language. So a self-certification may be accepted for a candidate from countries where English is an official language. Candidates in possession of an English taught bachelor degree may submit a document certifying that the study program of their bachelor degree was entirely held in English, which is what is what we normally call English proficiency certificate. So once you get an English proficiency certificate from your, from your previous um, institutions or bachelor program and the likes, you can submit it and then you'll get an, a waiver for any 
um, um, English language requirement for any program of your choice, okay? So, and of course, you can read details, the funding period, or I mean, details about the funding period, the, the those that are not eligible to apply, okay? And you know, some of them, they said, if you are, if you are already a recipient of another EU grant or EU fully funded program, you are not eligible to apply. So, and of course, you can read details, engage yourself about the details of the uh, uh, details of the fully funded program and opportunity and make your application. Now, these are the list of countries that are eligible to apply, list of eligible foreign countries. So Angola, you know, all of them, Belarus, Bolivia, Canada, Chad, Chile, Colombia, so um, Estonia, you know, Ghana, South Africa, you know, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Japan, Nigeria, you know, uh, Niger, Namibia, Morocco, Moldova. So the list goes on. South Africa. So the list goes on. Tunisia, United Kingdom. So these are the list of countries that are. So if you want to make your application, regardless of where you are watching us from all over the world, check the list of the eligible countries to ensure that your country is among the list of um, those who can apply to this Italian fully funded uh, government uh, uh, scholarship or grant. Okay. So. And then when you now want to make, uh, I mean, look for courses to uh, apply to, you have to come to this place to look to, to you can consult university, universally in order to assess all the information needed to find the university course you are interested in, to check the terms and conditions for the admission to the various faculties, to discover the opportunities for the facilitations and scholarship, and to verify the formalities and obligations required for your entry and stay. In Italy, so you have to, you know, click on this link to be able to assess different universities, the master's program, PhD programs, the requirement, documentation, and every other thing that you need to be able to apply. And like I said, you are not required to have uh, to have admission in master's or PhD or any of the um, eligible courses that they they said there. You only need to have to show that you are pre-enrolled in any of this institution. That is what you need to be able to make your official application to the Italian government fully funded grant for all foreign students, okay? So that is the opportunity that I want to quickly share with us. Of course, if you need, have any questions, clarifications, preferably it is better you ask them, uh, you email the institute themselves or the official website, they will be able to uh, assess, I mean, answer any questions, clarify any doubts that you might have. But of course, if you if you feel the question is something that we can, you know, provide answer to you and drop them on our comment section, don't forget to like and to subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also, turn on the notification bell. It is very important so that you keep, you get updated all the time when we drop information like this, prepare for opportunities. Like I always say, prepare your document for opportunities. You never know which opportunities you will need to immediately apply to. And you might not have the luxury of time to be able to gather them, okay? So it will come your way next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.